G'day guys and girls, welcome back to Glen's Aussie Barbecue. Today we are doing pulled lamb ribs on the Big Joe. So first of all, let's check out these ribs. So let's talk about lamb in general for the moment. Very expensive. Anyone would think it comes from a mythical beast that only reproduces once every 16 years under a full moon. But that's not true. It does reproduce just like every other animal and we kill it and we eat it, but it's very expensive. And sometimes you can get a real bargain. I got these for $6 a kilo and that's worth it. But as you can see, the fat to meat ratio, much like myself, is a bit one-sided. So you can skim some of that off if you like. I'm not gonna bother, fat is flavor. I'm going to slow cook this, let that fat drip into the meat. And then when I pull it later on, I'll separate the meat from the fat and leave a little bit of fat in there because Life's not fun without a bit of fat. And this is a wet rub I've made for this lamb today. It's pretty much got a bit of everything. There's garlic, paprika, cumin, salt, pepper. Uh, so some other stuff in there too. Oh, rosemary and mint, a bit of parsley. So now I'm just gonna smear this all over this lamb. And as an afterthought, I'm gonna score the top of the meat because I forgot. Just going to rub all that in. Going to put them all on a plate, cover them with some glad wrap and wait for the Kamado to get up to temp. Got the Big Joe rolling along at 100 Celsius today. I didn't bother doing a video of the setup because you guys know how to set up your Kamados. I've skipped through that, did take a couple of photos, I'll insert them somewhere. Got some nice smoke rolling at the moment. I'm running peach and aprium today, which is a really beautiful, beautiful wood if you can get your hands on it. So I'm going to put those ribs in. Now like I said, I don't care about the temps today. I want to go nice and slow, I want to get a nice smoke on these lamb ribs. Good couple of hours, then I'll come back and I'm going to wrap them in foil, I'm going to steam them. So. We'll see you in a few hours. We are two hours down on this cook and these smell fantastic. Still got some nice smoke rolling there. I'm gonna up the temperature now to around 125 Celsius and try to start breaking down a bit more of that fat. But these smell amazing. And this tastes sensational. <gasps> what a combination. All right, I'm gonna change my temps here up to 125 Celsius. We'll come back in another hour. It's three and a half hours down in total, just over one and a half hours after we up the temperature. Let's have a look at these. Oh wow, these look fantastic. I'm gonna wrap these now. Look at the juice running around. Unbelievable. Oh, this is gonna be perfect, perfect. I'll let them sit for probably until I wanna come back outside and check it. I'll let you know how long that was. So that's been one hour in the foil. I think it's around four hours and four and a half hours all up cook. So let's have a quick look at these ribs. <laughs> See all that juice down there? I don't know if you can see that juice. We're not losing that juice. That's going to be a, a sauce for our, well a sauce. This is going to be juice for our wraps. And I don't mind telling you, this is looking really good. See how that fat hasn't broken down enough, but, hmm, what should we do there? What should we do? I don't know what I'd normally do. No, I'm not gonna do anything. You know what I'm gonna do? I am going to let it ride as it is. Wrap it back up. Just let that fat keep on melting away into the meat because most of that fat is gonna be taken off anyway. I will slim some good stuff off slice it up and mix it through the meat because me myself would never discard myself from a feed you know what I'm saying all right that's enough bullshit I'll wrap that up because we've hit we've hit we've hit problems I'm out of scotch well I'm out of scotch in my hand it's a total of an hour and a half in the foil I think it's uh four and a half hours all up have a quick look. Oh, <laughs> what's up, mate? All right, yeah, 
this is just going to be awesome. All right, I am going to wrap that in a towel, put in the esky, while I go and steam my bow buns and make my gluten-free wraps, which is what I'm going to be serving this on. Sorry, I just popped the camera. But that's pretty much it. Wrap, rest, steam, make, drink, serve, photo. I'll see you then. Just about to start my second stage on the bow buns. I've never made these before. I just followed a recipe off YouTube. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Man, that looks awesome. Oh, wow. I can't wait. <laughs> if this goes to plan, I am going to drink scotch all week. Just as a celebration. Oh, look at that. Have a look at that. Oh my God, I am so impressed. I can't wait to try these bow buns. It's part of the recipe tonight. I um, hope it works out because I am drunk and the rest of the cook tonight <laughs> may just be fast forwarded with no words, no words. <laughs> oh my god. Um. <laughs> oh, that is just sex. In my fingers. Oh my god. Mm. Oh. Now I spoke about taking the fat away. That's not gonna happen. This is my first time trying this. I had some extremely fatty ribs that I thought were no good for much, but these are unbelievable. Oh my God. Even the fat by itself is fucking orgasmic. That's, <laughs> that rub is fucking awesome. That lamb is just, it's just fucking unbelievable. Oh my God. Stay tuned. I'm going to pull the other rack and um, oh, make our dinner, which is uh, oh, going to be way better than I thought. Oh my God. I'll be back. I'm going to finish that drink. Um, beat some of that. And drink some more of that. And drink more of that. Oh, fuck. I'd like to come back. And just quickly, that was the thin rack. That wasn't the thick rack. This is the thin rack. Oh, sorry, thick rack. Oh, my God. It's so fucking hot. It's so fucking good. Look at that. Oh, I'm burning. Oh, I'm burning. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. These ribs were fantastic those bow buns were bloody sensational i'll put a link to the youtube video that i followed to make those buns today in my description and the gluten free wraps as well for those who are gluten intolerant they're a great wrap thanks for watching again hit like and subscribe i'll catch you next time welcome back welcome back to glenn's Aussie barbecue today we are <clears throat> now we've got the big Joe rolling along here at 110 Celsius. Oh, fuck me, dude. Now we've got the big Joe rolling along here at just under 100 Celsius. I don't even care about the temps today. This guy. Now we've got the Kamar there today, peach chunks I said, not chunks, peach. Now as you can see, I've already trimmed these rack 